They are the drivers you trust to take you around the district, but when taxi drivers break the rules, their riders are quick to complain. The ABC 7i team dug through hundreds of complaints. Josie Sturman has the details on what they found and how the agency that oversees cabs is cracking down. Nightmare rides, trips of terror and frustration, and drivers with a disregard for safety. We found it all happening in the cabs you trust to get you around the district. It doesn't surprise me at all. Andrew Axe isn't shocked by what we found because he's lived it, getting trapped on a nightmare ride with a DC cab driver who didn't follow regulations. They get that license with an agreement that they will abide by the rules. But ABC 7 found hundreds of taxi drivers who don't. We dug through more than 1,000 pages of complaints filed in the first six months of 2004. Do you feel like this agency is doing enough to find the people who want to play against the rules? Well, you, you're never doing enough. Chairman Ron Linton, along with a seven-member board, is charged with cracking down on bad behavior for the district's drivers. Of the more than 650 complaints filed with the commission this year, we found claims of overcharging, refusal to haul, and rude drivers among the most common gripes. But the most common complaint we found in these relates to credit cards. He stops me and he goes, you know, it's less than $10 pay cash. And I was like, well, sorry, buddy. I, I don't really have cash. Remember Andrew Axe? Well, when he started to use his card on a DC taxi trip in March, the driver started screaming and locked him inside the cab. And I'm like, well, technically I'm kidnapped. Trapped even though taxi drivers are now required by law to take credit cards. The transition always have a, a certain problem. Adis Gabrasalasi with the Taxi Operators Association admits there have been bumps in the road, but the majority of drivers are now complying. Bad apples, they have to be accountable for their action. That's the commission's job, investigating the complaints we sifted through and taking action. It also tests the system. We did our own testing, taking a hidden camera along for the ride as we spent four hours cabbing it across the district. Every driver we used accepted credit cards and followed the law. The commission says it got similar results in its own testing earlier this year, finding a 94% compliance rate when the new credit card requirement was tested. You're never going to get 100%. I mean, there are 5,700 cars, uh, 9,000 drivers. Uh, people are people. And when there's a dispute, things get heated. Those complaints we uncovered show riders yelled at, dropped on the side of the road, and even calls to police. Andrew Axe didn't need the cops to get out of his nightmare ride. The driver eventually opened Open the door, but he's stayed out of cabs ever since. You know, the fact of the matter is, you know, once you have a couple of bad experiences strung together, it hurts everybody who does their job the right way. In Washington, Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News. All right, and Josie tells us that the Cab Commission currently uses what are known as hack inspectors, as well as anonymous riders to test the system. But the chairman wants to expand the program to get more inspectors on the street by the spring. Leon.